Okay, so we're here with Steve Shelley from Ambitech, who's here to talk to us about perceptive pixel screens. Steve, this is this is one of the coolest things I've seen. Tell us about it. Well, it really is a great, fun uh, device and excellent for analyzing complex data sets and uh, getting your hands literally on your data and uh, being able to visualize. So at the moment, we have a map viewer open uh, with a lens sitting in it. So you can see I'm looking at two different data sets on the same map. Uh, so I've got um, a physical um, map here and also within the uh, lens uh, an area that's showing snowfall in March which I can pick that up and move it even outside the area of my existing map so I've got complete freedom. You'll also notice here the markers that I've set that help us interrelate the two data sets because they are visible in both of the lenses. Now within this, uh, gestures are used with the um, application. So I've defined as a circle, it just brings up my menu. Yep. So I can just quickly do that and bring up a different application. So for example, we have here a gigapan picture from Machu Picchu. So this is something that is stitched together from multiple frames. So there's the size of my whole picture. But you'll see how quickly and completely I can zoom in and the amazing detail that we get out of that. Wow. It's really as quick and as easy as that. Now I'll just show you uh, a couple of other things in terms of um, images. This is something that you may have seen on, on CSI that uh, they love flicking things around with. I was just going to say, you look very, you're looking very crime scene drama there. Well, that's true because uh, I can call up, for example, a, uh, whoops, a menu to say that person is of interest so we better drag his face off down to my uh, oh now you've broken him <laughs> put that down into my facial recognition software and pop up his rap sheet storyboard is a tool for doing um, presentations uh, it could be at a corporate level you could almost think of it as PowerPoint on steroids because rather than bringing in pictures of material we're actually bringing in um, applications, whoops, uh, I'll just pull in say a still, I might uh, drag in a website, and I'll pull in some live video. So I've got now four different kinds of um, ap application data in that, and then I can define a flow for my um, presentation. So I might start with a map, go to a still, go to a video, go to a website. So unlike PowerPoint now, I'm not looking at a picture of a map, I've actually got a map application. So you see I can zoom within that, I can annotate within it. And any annotations or changes that I do, it's creating PDFs in the background, so I'm able to email it to people wow. that are not at the, the presentation. That's brilliant. So go to a still, go to a video, and again, I'll just turn off annotation. Because I'm now in the application, I can run this video live without having to exit from my presentation package to go to a video viewer. So you see this is some infrared footage that's been taken from a UAV of uh, a guy running through a forest. We had this at a defense show um, a couple of weeks ago, and this sort of thing got them all very excited because they mostly just wanted to shoot him. And now finish this off by going to my website. That's fantastic. So it's, um, yeah, it's a very immersive sort of tool, eye-catching, um, really makes a presentation stand out from the crowd because it's not just another death by PowerPoint session. And, and it's fun. It's, it it's so much fun. It is fun. Now, just for uh, a final fun sort of thing, uh, we'll just call up. Google Earth. Now this is um, nothing particularly um, exciting about this application in terms of its Google Earth, but it looks fantastic on this screen and it's so easy to drive. So I'm just choosing to go to Banff in Canada because uh, there's some mountains there. Um, here's a gesture that's been defined for the interface to this, two fingers and tilt the Earth this way. So I can zoom and rotate at the same time. Wow. 
So you'll see, I might take a look around and say, oh, I'm going to fly up this valley here. So I zoom in, turn around, and so forth. So it's really quick, direct, easy interface, and great fun. Excellent. Steve, thank you so much. Where, where do we find out more? Uh, contact Amber, and uh, we'll be pleased to, um, to help. And we're planning a tour of uh, demos around the country um, over the next little while, Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne. So um, Perceptive Pixel will be coming soon to a city near you. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks again. Cheers. Cheers.